system. Part A is the larger portion, Part B the smaller. You'll find it very easy to mix and apply as you'll see as we go through the video. You do want to make sure you mix both components as packaged to ensure you have the proper ratio between Part A and Part B. You'll open Part A and pour all of Part B into the Part A can. The easiest way to mix is with a drill attached mixer, also known as a hurricane mixer. Make sure you mix at slow to medium speed and do not grind the mixer against the can side or bottom. This can damage the nanocomposite. You'll keep mixing for approximately five minutes. You want to ensure you have a nice even color throughout the can. You want to make sure the color is consistent and there's no ribbons of white showing. That'll ensure everything is mixed thoroughly. Usually takes about five minutes. Once you finish mixing, you're going to allow it to set and thicken for 30 minutes before using. You also want to make sure your surface is dry and clean, of course, for proper adhesion. Once you've let the product set, you're going to pour it into the hopper of your texture sprayer, or also known as a hopper gun. Now, EPX does have a 24-hour pot life after mixing Part A and Part B, so you must use it within that time frame. You'll also want to make sure to tarp any areas for overspray. As you can see, it's very easy to spray. You want to get the thickness at about 10 mils or about 254 microns. You do want to make sure to measure the film thickness with a wet film thickness gauge and to allow the first coat to completely dry to touch before applying the next one. You want a pebbled finish throughout the surface, not smooth. And um, using the smallest tip size can help you get the most even finish. As you first spray, you'll notice that one coat, you're going to have a lot of spaces in between the particle. At three coats, you'll start to notice it filling in quite a bit for a more even particle distribution. And then once you get to a six coat coverage, you'll see you have a fairly even film throughout. You can apply to hot surfaces below 400 Fahrenheit or 204 C. And this will cause the coats to dry much faster. They'll dry in roughly 15 to 20 minutes if you're spraying a hot surface, as opposed to maybe two to four hours if you're spraying a cooler surface.